It's not something that you just jump something on. It's not like a truck. It's in a series of tubes. The internet is so complicated. Hi, it's Sean. I'm the cab in New York. Here's your content brief. Gamification has gone from buzzword to real-world brand tactic in the past few years, with even more companies expected to play in the future. If you've ever had a frequent flyer card, you're already familiar with the concept, using game mechanics like points to encourage engagement, loyalty, and brand advocacy. Today, brands are experimenting with gamification across digital, social, and retail channels. The Nike Plus Running app incorporates multiple game-like elements to keep people active and hooked on the product. It tracks your progress and milestones, motivates with challenges, and makes it easier to interact and compete with others. Its missions program creates a whole game environment based on your activity. The 3D design software company Autodesk gamified the trial version of its software, adding missions that guided users through features to encourage potential buyers to spend more time with the product. Verizon Wireless added badges and leaderboards to its Verizon Insider Social community, rewarding users for commenting, sharing content on social networks, and entering contests. But gamification has to be about more than badges. Businesses are learning that the design and function of the program always has to make sense for the consumer. If there's no real value or reward for engaging with your company and staying loyal, don't be surprised if you lose the game. That's it for this week's brief. Until next week, keep your content fresh.